Kings and queens, your majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well, and you are loving yourself and others like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers, you're loved, celebrated, and appreciated. CIA declares Echo as president and assets. And who is the Echo as president? The Echo as president is our almighty Tinubu aka Jagavan, the president of Nigeria. Okay, so CIA outrightly came out and say that um, the Air Corps president is an asset. For CIA to boldly tell the world that the president of a country in the continent of Africa, a nation like Nigeria, their leader is their asset. Are we not finished? Are we not finished as a continent? This is the one they've come out openly to say, and it's because they are in a tight situation. They are in a tight situation because the citizens and senior members of the continent of the country is asking for the past files of their president. Okay? The past criminal files of their president. They say they deserve to know. Especially when it comes to, of course, <laughs> when they say this man is a drug baron, this is what has been going out there. It's there on the internet. So, his people are suspecting him for a lot more and they are demanding for his past records. Now, CIA feels like protecting an asset of theirs is coming out to tell the world that this man is, is, is something that they own. So the Nigerian people better keep quiet and that they should allow them to handle the situation because he is an asset. They allow the man who was involved in drug, involved in some illegal activities, they gave him opportunity, aided him to take the mantle of leadership of a nation like Nigeria. And when the people begin to ask and begin to question the past, of this dear president this same group of people came out boldly to tell you that this man is their asset he might be your president but he is their asset your majesties what do you take of this because i don't there are things i don't i i don't want to say there are things i don't want to say and it's not just the president of nigeria that is the asset to these people or of these people Majority of our presidents are assets. Okay? Majority of our presidents in the motherland are assets to the CIA and the, the government of Europe and America. I was telling you here, when that debate was heated some years ago, that South Africa is a company, is registered as a, as a company in America. Many of you were agitated. I think we did something about that some maybe last week or two weeks ago. And I told you that it's not just South Africa that is registered as a company. Majority in all the countries in the motherland are registered as companies because they see us as a, uh, a mineral resources growing environment. They see us as a market. So of course the market is a company because you're making money. And many of you confirmed it as well that the majority of the countries in the world are registered as companies because these people don't see us, the humans, the lay ones, the masses as, as anything. They just see us as a source of making money, a money making machine. Let's, let's listen to this because it's, it's circulating because it's a fact. I, I Let's listen to Nigerians themselves uh, talk about this because I don't know. This is, this is more than me right now, your majesties. All right. So the news says U.S. government tells courts Tinubu is CIA assets. Insists Nigerians have no right to assess the president's past record. CIA confirmed Tinubu is active assets. Active. That means even now. They can tell him yes or no. They are the one controlling whatever thing that is doing based off on this news. USA says disclosure of his 1992 drug trafficking 
reports could cause damage to national security. Although I have not verified this news, but uh, Ms. Sahara reporters that posted this. Now, if this news is true that this U.S. actually said this, then this is a very big problem. Then our hardship and our sufferness just continue because you know one thing about the Western world: the Western world don't want Africa to prosper. They don't want Africa to prosper no matter what. So if they are boldly saying it, which I have not verified, but I saw it on Sahara, if they are boldly saying it, that is an active asset, they just know that we are in for a doom. We are in for a doom. A very big doom. Economy no fee stable. If this, if this news now they talk not true, uh -huh. because these people will never, they will never want Africa to be great as them. So all this fuel price will continue to increase. All this dollar will continue to increase. Our country will be in shambles before I see Bola and met Tinubu leave. That is if what these people are saying is true. It means that even if Tinubu tries to make this country better, these people will send him an errand. It means that Tinubu is their house boy. If what this thing is saying is true. I saw it on Sahara reporters. Do you understand? For now, consume me. It means that Tinubu is their house boy. And we are in... I just don't know. I'm trying to break it down in a layman form, but this is messy. This is messy. Now, they are also saying, according to Sahara reporters that posted it, they are also saying that truly, 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 Tinubu was involved in drug dealing in 1992. Well, anyways, uh, what is my job? My own to just do analysis, small analysis. But if this is true, then we are in deep shambles. Number two, about this drug thing, I would like to tell you that most of the people that were into drug dealing around the world, Pablo Escobar, El Chapo, and the rest, they were all U.S. assets at the end of the day. It was a thing where if they don't see, say you don't get power through this means, if they may they take you in, they'll do what we call a plea bargain, which happens everywhere. You understand? It happens everywhere. But saying that Tinubu is still an active asset is a problem. Anyways, now God go help us on Nigeria. They cannot talk to the one where go make them sue me. As I did like this now, Lagos are they go for another case with the Falanos. So, all right, my justice. And um, I, I'm laughing because this this young man is someone who is really on the neck of the Nigerian government and corrupt leaders. Like, there's a lot he has done, and they have always been on him. Like, they've always been on him because he exposes the evil the you know corruption of the government and if you listen to him carefully he's trying to be safe not <laughs> so that he doesn't step on anyone's toe so he doesn't get arrested anymore he's been arrested many times for speaking the truth now to the fact that is before our faces that majority of our leaders in the continent are something like this active assets active assets you see the reason why most of the times we shout and shout and shout. Our leaders are these, our leaders are that. It is because there is someone up there who controls every decision that is made. These people don't just make decisions. They have to take permission from their bosses. They have to take permission from their puppeteers because this is what we call active puppet. You can't do anything that you are not told to do. Okay, when the, the British, um, um, what do you call it, the British warship was on the shores of the Nigerian people, as at, that's almost two years ago, I did some analyzing here that um, the warship was, you know, on those waters for days. What were they doing on those waters? What are they, were they bringing into the, the country? What were they taking out of the country? Because it's not just proper that the British worship would just come to the shores of a sovereign nation and the leaders of this nation had nothing to say in explanation to the people that are agitation. What is this British worship doing here? They could not give any explanation. Oh, they were just there just for military relations just for military relations. Is this how our worship go to other sovereign nations, sovereign so-called developed countries to go and stay on their, on their waters for days? 
Because before this warship came on these shores, those who work as marine are aware that this warship were coming. The government is aware and knows the reason why this warship came. And everybody said like they don't know what is going on. Just because they don't want to give an explanation to the people they are leading. This is what happens when our leaders are active asset to the CIA. See, we are tied on every side. The American government is tied, is, is tied the continent one side, our leaders, through our leaders, of course. They tie the countries in the modern, modern land through one side. The British government, through our leaders, are tied. So these are leaders now. I think the tribulation is in all way, like it's all round. This sovereign power will hold one leg. The other sovereign power hold one leg. Another sovereign power hold the head. Another one is holding the stomach. How do we do, do we breathe? How do we breathe? How do we exercise? How do how do we survive? This is this exact situation, and I'm happy that things are becoming the way they are now, so that we see in a clearer picture the situation that we are in as a motherland. This is the reason why they try their best to surprise every union or corporation that is supposed to be African. Just look at the African Union. African Union is supposed to be African Union. But is the African Union, there are a lot of European Americans in African Union. What are they doing there? Spying and making sure that what they want is actualized. Our leaders do not have a say. Our people do not have a say. We can't even make decisions for ourselves. This is it because our top government officials are active assets. We're talking about unity, the solution is to unite, which is true. And I asked the question, how do we unite? This is the problem. Because our top leaders are active assets. How do this come about? And that's why I told you, I said some months ago, that this is beyond just the physical now. We have to go spiritual with the whole situation in the motherland. They made us throw away our powers and tell us that it's idolatry, it's evil, it's bad. They made us cut off, they tell you is 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 evil, is demonic. Because they know that there'll be a time you need these spiritual powers to deal with them. It's high time we call on the ancestors. Let them rise up. Call on the spirits of the land, the guardians of the land. Your Majesties, this is beyond is 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 showing that it's getting out of hand. These people are posing as their god now. I'm making decisions for you. The economy can never be stable according to his words, which is a fact. How can the economy be stable when your leader, the OO1 of a nation, a sovereign nation like Nigeria, is an active asset? Active asset. And this same body called the CIA openly told Nigerians that they do not have any right to access their president's past records. Because they are the one leading and controlling you. You see our predicament, you see the situation, you see what we are in. Your majesties. This is it. The struggle is real, like it's real. And a lot of us are still delusional, believing that white men in your neighborhood are your savior. You, lie, you allow them to sit down. And gradually they are not telling you that they, they are the ones who, you are not even the original of that place. It's gradually this thing happens, oh. Gradually this thing happens. And I just hope that um, we realize on time before it is too late that they are not our friends. There is no way. There is no way, your majesties. Leave your thoughts and opinion there at the section. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself. Love others. Stay safe, stay positive always, your majesties. Bye for now.